Hi, my name is Alex Seneschal and I'm a 3D freelance concept designer. In this video, I'm going to go over how to make three-dimensional cuts in Fusion 360. As you can see, I've already created a model. Now, typically, people struggle with this situation. Maybe they'll make a cut and use the split body tool under the modify tab to make a cut out of an existing sketch. And you can see that we have a problem. It only exists in one direction. So let's say we wanted to cut across the face, maybe two different faces at several different orientations. Well, how do we do that? In this video, I'm going to go over it. So I'm going to go back and delete this sketch. And I'm going to show you and explain the workflow. Basically, the first thing you want to do is to create the first direction or the first face that you want to have a cut on. So in this case, I want to do this top face here. And I want to make a cut along this side coming off of here. So we can go ahead and with Shift S, which is my hotkey for split body, we can take this body, select the edge, and split it. You'll see that it goes all the way through the model, which is undesirable. But in this case, we'll fix it. Let's go ahead and make the second cut. So in this case, we want to cut out basically the shape from the other angle. And I'll show you how we fix it all in the end. So let's draw out the shape that we want for the side. In this case, I want it to start at the edge, echo this line here, become thin, go up at a 90 degree angle here, and come off here. And just so it doesn't go over to the circular part, I'm going to end this edge here. So we have our second cut. Let's select these two bodies and perform a split body operation on them as well. And you'll see now we have a bunch of cuts. All right, now let's say that we want to add a third cut because you can see that this body is cutting around this angle. It's actually very simple. We'll go ahead, make this cut as well. I want it to go down and follow this edge. Take just this body, use the split tool, and we're done. Let's delete the second half and we'll go over the second and most simple step of this whole procedure. So basically, we basically cut it into a bunch of parts and we made a big mess. All we need to do now is stitch it together with the combine tool. So under modify, we have the combine tool or I have it hotkeyed to shift C. We'll select the faces that we don't want to be a part of this cut and then hit shift C or combine, do join. And then now we can take the remaining pieces and if we wanted to, we could shift C these, but in this case, actually, I want to shift C this and combine these parts. Now we can go ahead and just take a look at this three-dimensional cut that we've created. You can see that now it's going around all of the corners and it's easy to combine and work on now. So next time you find yourself in a situation where you need to combine different faces and uh, different angles of cuts, go ahead and use this technique. It's simple, just cut and then combine what you need to be one piece. So let's go ahead and mirror this. And now you can see how it's looking. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.